What is capitalism? The civilization of mankind can be traced to the establishment of property rights. With property rights, individuals could own land, capital, and goods, and then trade or sell them to others. This economic activity is referred to as the market. This doesn't mean it necessarily takes place in a physical market, it simply means that goods and services are voluntarily traded. For most of human history, property rights have been limited to those in power. For example, a king or lord had ultimate control over those who lived under their protection. If the king desired beets, farmers were to farm beets. If the lord needed horseshoes, blacksmiths forged horseshoes. Ordinary people had the ability to trade among themselves, but those in power could direct their production if they so desired, or punish those who resisted. The emergence of capitalism changed this. Capitalism is mass production of goods to satisfy the needs of the greatest number of people. Capitalism was revolutionary by recognizing property rights for all, regardless of background and social standing. Under capitalism, even the most vulnerable in society had an absolute claim to their own labor and property. It did not guarantee equality of property, but capitalism eliminated any right by anyone else to infringe upon it. In doing so, capitalism empowered consumers, rather than those in power, to influence what was produced in the economy. This happens via the profit mechanism. If enough people demand a good, and it can be sold for more than it costs to produce, that means the production of that good is profitable. Some of the richest people in the world today have made their money not by appealing to the rich, but by appealing to the masses. Walmart's business model, for example, is geared towards selling goods cheaply to as many people as possible. Critics of capitalism try to condemn it as greed. This is false. Greed and envy are human vices, and they exist in any economic system. What capitalism does is incentivize the production of goods and services that people desire on the market, rather than leaving those decisions to powerful individuals or governments. Throughout human history, we have seen property rights and markets lift billions of people out of poverty. Everywhere in the world, property and economic freedom are correlated with improved quality of life, health, and life expectancy. Capitalism is a peaceful system of collaboration between producers and consumers, and functions by the wants and needs of the greatest number of people. The government plays no role in a truly capitalist system. When the government interferes and forces regulations on producers and consumers, it ceases to be a capitalist system. Capitalism is freedom of consumer choice.